we're back. This is Eric and uh, we're going to take a test drive of the QRP guys uh, and fed half wave transformer that we worked on last time. And I did go ahead and solder that all up without putting it on video. I apologize, but uh, we're going to see how it works. I'm here in my backyard, which is kind of where I do a lot of my testing for field stuff. Uh, if you look behind me, I've got a pretty good sized tree back there. And uh, about 40 feet up, I've got a throw line that I ran up a 40 meter uh, antenna onto. And uh, I've got it configured as a sloper right now. And it's coming down all the way to the ground. And there's that coil that we rewound. And as a, I've got it staked down just with a piece of bamboo that I, uh, if you watch my kit video that's coming up on uh, what I keep in my 705 bag, well, that's one of the items. And I've got it on a piece of 15 foot coax with a uh, ferrite core, 10 wraps around that, and over to the 705. And if we watch the SWR on this right now, I'm not sure how well it's going to come out in the sun here. Let me see if I can change this so I create a shadow of it. It might be easier to see. KC9 YDC, is this channel clear? And I'm getting about a 1.6, 1.7 SWR um, in this configuration. So I'm going to make a change and we'll see uh, what uh, difference we get in the SWR. All right, all I've done now is I've changed out the coax cable from the 15 foot piece of coax to one 25 foot piece of coax. It just loops around to my backyard and comes back over uh, to the Unun. Also has a ferrite core about six feet off of uh, the transformer. And let's take a look and see what difference that makes on the SWR here. KC9 YDC is this channel clear and you can see my SWR goes down to about 1.2 or 1.3 and I apologize for the weird video uh, the GoPro keeps trying to correct uh, the horizon line and I'm facing down and it doesn't know what to do you can see that the SWR is down significantly here at 7195 let's drop down let's actually let's go up to the top of the band here and see how we look KC9 YDC, is this kind of frequency clear? And we're here 1 to 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2 down there. So you can see just the addition of 10 more feet of coax laying on the ground, right, acts as a counterpoise on this antenna and does make a significant difference in the SWR. I'm going to make one more change. I'm going to get that uh, UNUN up off the ground and we'll see if that makes a difference. All right, so I've taken the UNUN that was on the ground over there, put it up on this log. Uh, it's maybe two, two and a half feet up off the ground. Put a little bit more of a droop in my antenna line. Right, it's not drawn taut like it was before, uh, but let's see what impact that has on the SWR here. KC9 YDC, is this frequency clear? And I've had, I'm actually back up to 1.6, 1.7. So as you can see from the test results, uh, things aren't necessarily always as they seem. The same antenna with the same un un and the same position and all I did was change from a 15 foot piece of coax to a 25 foot piece of coax. And I dropped my uh, SWR between 0.4 and 0.5 points. Um, one of the things about the half wave end fed antennas, uh, many of them are advertised as not having to have ground radials and the coax acts as the radial. And I think that's the effect that we saw in this case. 10 more feet of coax laying on the ground uh, improved that particular performance which also means is probably if you used a shorter piece of coax but added a radial uh, or one or more uh, onto the shield side of the BNC connector on the Onun, uh, you may also see improved SWR. I took that same Onun, same piece of 25 foot coax, moved it up about two, two and a half feet off the ground and got a 0.4.5 uh, SWR shift in the upwards direction. Uh, so elevation off the ground matters as well. So this isn't a simple formula where one particular set of uh, parameters is gonna get the same SWR in every configuration. Uh, what type of ground are you over? Is it wet? Is it dry? How, how far are your end points off the ground? Is it a vertical? Is it a sloper? Is it a inverted V, right? All those things are gonna have an impact on 
what that uh, SWR ends up at ultimately. So I made those changes to the uh, inductive coil on there and the transformer because I was not seeing the SWR I wanted initially. And this definitely brought me down a whole lot closer. Uh, I can be in that kind of 1.1 ballpark and, and that's good enough for me. I probably could put a few more inches onto the wire if I knew I was gonna be operating exclusively down in the CW or digital portion of the band. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's just going to go in my bag as it is. And uh, so what do you think? Have you seen similar results and antennas you've deployed, uh, particularly ones without radials? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure you go up to the top there, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We're trying to grow the channel, and we really would appreciate your support. So until next time, this is Eric, KC9YDC, Max on the Air.